let me see can i spray to kind of show y'all see how it's mist like i don't know it's just kind of misty i like that better than the water bottle that i had <laughs> Welcome back to Jazzy Locks. I'm your girl Jazz. I'm back another video. If you're new here, welcome, friend. Glad to have you. I'm Jazz. I create lock content, vlogs, girl chit chats, all type of things, honey. I hope you like what you see on my channel. You decide to subscribe. All right, lock family. Hope you all are doing good on this lovely day. Your girl's back with a new video. I know you have already seen the title. Today, I'm going to be discussing lock essentials, meaning things that are crucial to your lock journey, basically must-haves. Now, some things you may have in your collection, some things you may not. Um, if you see some things that I listed that's helpful to you, please let me know. And if there are some other lock essentials that you are aware of that I did not mention, please let me know so we all can be on game just like you, okay? All right, so before we get into the video, I'm going to give you a second to join the lock family. Oh, have you done it yet? Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and get into the video to talk about these lock essentials. So the first thing you must have in regards to your lock essentials is a mist bottle, honey. Yes. So what you can put in your mist bottle is water. Sometimes I mix water with aloe vera juice to go in here. But um, this is essential to um, hydrating your locks. You must keep your locks moisturized and making sure your locks are just not dry throughout your journey. So this is the first essential you need. So I used to have a regular spray bottle, but I kept hearing people on TikTok kept talking about the mister, spray mister. I may be pronouncing it wrong, but the mist kind. And I'm just like, well, what's the difference? It should be the same. But I kept seeing people talk about it. So I started doing research, looking at reviews. And so I decided to go ahead and get me one. I ordered it from Amazon and it's different. I can't explain it. Like with the water, it just come out. But with this, it kind of reminds you of a mist. It gives you enough moisturizer, but it's not just drenching your locks. Let me see, can I spray to kind of show y'all? See how it's mist? Like, I don't know, it's just kind of misty. I like that better than the water bottle that I had. So, um, and I'm gonna show you an example of what I mean with a regular water spray bottle. But um, yeah, it is definitely a difference between the two. So if you have this, let me know. And if you just have a regular spray bottle, that's fine as well because they both will moisturize your locks. But you need some type of bottle of some sort to keep your water in, aloe vera juice in, or any type of things you use for moisture. All right, so the second thing you're going to need as your lock essential is this. I don't know what I call it, a dropper, a bottle, for oil I'm not quite sure what it's called it's gonna be called a dropper today honey okay but you need this and you can put your oil in it see me I mix up my own oils so it kind of lets me know just how much I'm mixing up how much of this I need how much of that I kind of combine different oils into one and it has measures to let you know how much you're adding in but it is very very helpful I love this y'all because you know you can just go in and just Put the oil in specific spots. You're not having to just drench it all over. You're able to actually get in. It's not messy. It has a cap. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I feel like you can get it from your local beauty supply store. You maybe can order it on Amazon as well. But um, this is definitely essential if you do not have it. I would say to get it to um, oil your locks. So number three for my lock essentials i have two number threes so the first one is a lock sock so these are amazing you just basically put them on and it ties in the back and um yeah it lets your locks just be free especially as your locks are getting longer this is a uh, perfect because you know how sometimes we get bonnets that um it kind of smush it down or you have a hard time finding a head cap that really fits as your locks get longer um the material is soft so i think it does a really good job now this is what i use to tie my boys hair up with i have personally outgrown the lock sock and i'm currently using a good old fashioned bunnet honey yes so this is not no ordinary bunnet 
this is like a lock bonnet or if you get box braids you can also use a bonnet like this but this bonnet is amazing y'all so the issue i was having with the lock sock is um sometimes it will come off and i just wanted some elastic around here and i just like the way with this one you can tie it cute so you know so you know you put it on of course and this is perfect because you can tie it in the back and then turn around and it ties in the front uh, i'm gonna see can i kind of provide an example of how it looks um when you tie it in the front but you can tie it in the back and the front so it gives you extra security. It's long. The material it's made out of is amazing. And so, yes. But I would definitely make sure that you have either a bonnet or a lock sock. Whichever one. Lock sock, maybe, if you're just starting your journey. Bonnet for someone who is more mature or someone who may want to wear a bonnet, you know. But, um, yeah, these two are definitely essential to the lot journey, honey. Let me know what you use to tie your hair up with. And the last one is, now this really is not a lock essential, but this is something I discovered on down the line because I'm just hard headed. And this is a edge brush, honey. Now I'm aware that a lot of people don't do their edges with locks. And that's okay, if you're someone who does not do your edges, fine, I understand. Cause I don't always do mine. I do mine sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends. But for those times you are trying to do your edges, this right here is a game changer. So for years, y'all, I've been using a toothbrush. <laughs> That's all I've known um, to use. Um, it gets your edges the right way. I feel like with a brush, it's too harsh. So I was using the toothbrush because the bristles are kind of soft. But then I see my younger sister using this and I'm like, what is that and she was like this is the edge brush i'm like okay i gotta get me one of those and let me explain to you why this is good because we have the brush part right but sometimes you need to swoop and comb on up in there and that's when you have the comb part so it's the best of both worlds the brush is not too harsh on your edges you can comb it down then swoop so yes this edge brush is it honey you definitely need to get you an edge brush now, if you're using a brush that's fine if you're using a toothbrush, that's fine. But if you're looking to switch to something else and you want to find something else that's going to get them edges looking right, I would definitely say use this edge brush, okay? All right. But, y'all, that's all I have. I just wanted to come on and share with y'all my lock essentials, what I've been using through my lock journey to help my locks be healthy. Again, the last one, of course, that's up to your preference but the first three that i mentioned are definitely things you should have for your lock journey whether you're at the starter phase teenage phase or mature locks you should definitely be having something to tie your hair up something to tie your hair up with some type of dropper or some type of thing to be able to apply oil to your locks and then some type of i sound country some type of i'm sorry some type of enunciation jazz enunciation some type of <laughs> mist bottle or spray bottle. Now the mister, I'm gonna tell y'all, you definitely should get the mister, but it's up to you. But some type of bottle to mist your locks with, okay? But I hope you all enjoyed this video. As I stated earlier in the beginning, if there is something I left off this list, please let me know, share it with me so I can go get it. And so the rest of the lock family can go get it too. If this video helped you out and you've seen some things on the list that you want to check out, let me know that as well. And I catch you on this video. Deuces.